Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Um, I'm just, I'm going to forgo the sorry it's been so long because you knew it was going to be a while. I'm doing these very irregularly, but this is uh, in theory a monthly play with me video for July 2023. Um, this is coming out in August. Sorry about that. Um, but I'm still in my personal size rings. These have been scratched and scuffed and loved or the planner has, not the rings. Um, this is from Fuzz Josma. They sent it to me actually for free back in maybe a year ago. Um, and so it's actually just happens to be the only one I have in this size. So I wanted to move to this size. It's the one I went to. Um, it's like a natural leather, which is nice. And I will go ahead and start with the pockets. Show you what's going on. Um, for context, if you haven't been around here lately, I am a mom of three with a fourth on the way. Uh, staying at home with my kids who make me art. So as you can see, she's learning how to read and write. Um, this was from her preschool. And then this is from, oh, this is from her sister. Um, so those are just kind of tucked in here as little reminders of mama love. So the other thing about me is that we are starting homeschool um, for the year. Actually, we're starting tomorrow morning as I'm filming this. Oh, this is just a postcard from... Uh, becute.com happy paper on Instagram um, she yeah comes to she goes to Comic Con every year and that's how I found her um, I just really like her art style and she makes like cute sticker sheets um, but she also posts web comics so you can find those this is pretty I was gonna find a purpose for this see if I could use it as like a dashboard or something though it's too short for that in this book anyway uh, these clear plastic divider tabs and flyleaf are from Marlene's Plan to Create on Etsy. Um, and yeah, if you ask that, these acetates that all have similar prints, um, I did these myself. I just bought some uh, like overhead transparency paper and printed like a free scrapbooking paper on them. So then all right everything else most of the inserts in here are going to be from my shop unless i state otherwise there's a couple i think that are from peanuts planner co but you'll see these are from my shop and i'll try to remember to tell you what the number is if i forget let me know in the comments and i can always find it for you or else you can go to my shop and if you click uh printables it'll have like a menu of different categories so it shouldn't be too hard to find most of the stuff um so here's the first one is insert 52, which is the 52 weeks future log. I use this to sort of plan ahead um, busy periods of my life and when I need to get stuff done. Um, see, I was planning to start school on the 7th, but then the kids were so excited about it. I'm like, let's lean into that enthusiasm. So we're starting on the 31st of July. Crazy early for a school year to start. I know, like we're not planning to do like a year round school. It's just that we are expecting a baby in early December. So I'm planning to basically, basically take from Thanksgiving through New Year's pretty much off. If they're feeling motivated and I'm feeling like I have stuff prepped, then maybe we'll log a school day. But other than that, um, I wanted to start early and we'll probably go late. Um, but also like we don't have a legal requirement to be in school. So if we're done with all of our work, then maybe we'll just end for the year. Anyway, um, this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. I actually went and I bought this recently because I was missing it. Um, I wanted to have this context list um, because I was feeling an itch to have something like that. So um, the contexts that I have are errands or like out and about when the baby's asleep, when his sister's also asleep. Um, when everyone's awake or when I have some solid desk slash computer time. As you can see, I haven't actually gone through and checked off some of these. I was looking at it for a couple days and then I had to remake it and I haven't really checked stuff off, but I've done some of these. Anyway, then you can see things are getting a little bit full. I have to like slide them over before I turn the page. This is the Eisenhower matrix, which I think is like insert five. Um, another way to have just, there's just running task lists, things that I need to get done, but aren't necessarily on this week's to-do list yet. Um, so these are all on the front. This is another way to sort of contextualize that, but it's basically the same information that's on here. This is what I was using and then I moved it. Then, um, oh, this is kind of a brain dump or it's a place to put a brain dump if I ever feel like I have the time and the mental capacity to do that. 
Um, this one, insert 63, is like monthly habits or monthly tasks, things that need to be done once a month. And so I use this to keep track of a lot of household things that need to happen periodically. Some of them, as you see, are like every quarter, every two months, that kind of thing. Um, but I just want to make sure that I am staying on top of like certain things that need to be cleaned, um, like the dishwasher. I do the tablet once a month um, or replace the loofahs every quarter. It's supposed to be every month, but like I stretch a lot of these. Um, I change. I just plan to change sheets once a month, which some people I'm sure think is disgusting, but that's what I'm capable of. <laughs> this here, of course, I get around to actually making the cleaning habit tracker and then I barely ever touch it. So I don't know. Um, this was helping me when I felt like I really needed to get on top of a few things. And now I mostly am. And I'm right now in, my, in a season of focusing on tidiness over cleanliness and just doing the cleaning tasks as they come up. Um, maybe I was making this in like a spring cleaning frenzy and I probably will lean into this again. Um, as I get into nesting maybe, where I'm actually taking a focused room, what I was doing was like, I'm gonna clean everything in this room top to bottom and then move on to another room and do that and then just sort of rotate. Um, and that was working for me, but I think I, yeah. Really it's like either it's keep on top of things or there's a reset day after a crazy weekend or something where I just need to tidy the whole house. But not worried too much about the, the cleaning things, like I clean the bathroom really regularly and I clean the kitchen pretty regularly-ish. The appliances, not so much. Anyway, this one's also from Peanut Planner, Peanuts Planner Co. It's a goal planning insert, um, which I use for like small projects, but I haven't since I set this up. I always really like having this and I have used it historically. I just haven't felt the need to, but it's still here for when I do, if that makes sense. And then we get into the monthly uh, layouts, which I don't have a separate tab delineating that that's when that starts. Um, the tab is actually in the current month instead, which just makes more sense. Because um, generally I'll, I'll flip from the front. I have a couple of these little page flags to mark places that I go to re regularly. Those two like to-do lists. And then I need to know where the current month is. So I set this up in May. As you see, I put a little bit of a uh, highlighter on the side. I have not been doing a lot of decorating. Nothing at all here, just pen. But I'm actually really using this a lot. This one's the uh, insert 14, which is the dated one. As of July, I think it's down to, I don't remember, but I discounted every quarter. So you don't have to pay full the full price for the whole year you get basically um, the first year free when you buy, you know, the last six months of it at a discount so I just um, the weeks are already set up like this because it's dated so you know exactly what day of the week everything is and then it's these little weekly checklists or weekly to-do lists that really make the difference for me I really like having those and I've been referencing them and then moving those things to the weekly checklist itself on an actual weekly spread Grab some water all right oh, I guess I'm due to change my sheets this week yay this is general to do's for the whole week and then there was some space for notes like when I put my daughter on a wait list for a swim class we got off the wait list so now it's just swim class so after we have the rest of the year printed out <coughs> there's a far future one which I still keep forgetting to wipe that out um, this is for anything that's not within the current calendar year um, and then this next section is like additional future planning stuff. So it does have a tab or this tab. First is from the pregnancy bundle from my shop, which is insert 40. This one's 40A, the countdown. And it takes, I know, it takes a lot of setup at the beginning, but I love having this thing. So I can look ahead and say, okay, you're planning a camping trip. Well, I'm gonna be 35 weeks pregnant. Maybe I'm not gonna go to that camping trip. And I can quickly see at a glance how far along I'll be at different days of the year. So I have to keep drinking water because my throat gets dry. So I really like having this. <clears throat> this is my third pregnancy that I've used it, I guess. And yeah, it's, it's very useful. I, it's a lot of setup at the beginning. I admit that. Anyway, that comes with the pregnancy bundle that's in my shop. 
<coughs> this one is a freebie, insert 74. And I finally, at this point, how far into the year, notice that there's a typo, at least in this size, where it says that All Saints Day is January 1st. It's not, it's November 1st, and you would be forgiven for not even noticing because it's all just a lot of lines, but I'm going to fix that this week. It's on my to-do list. Um, but that's free. Then this one is birthdays and anniversaries. You put the year that somebody was born or that they got married or whatever so that you don't have to come back and redo this. And I just, I didn't have to remake this. I pulled it out of my um, archive where I had my setup previously. And then I just added a couple of like babies that had been born since I moved out of this planner and we we're good to go. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you this too much from the library. The next section here is dailies. I have a bunch of different ones printed out. So I'll show you, this is the productivity daily, cleaning daily. Um, this one is just one with a time ladder. I forget if this is just called a day on a page or what it is. <clears throat> um, this is another one with a little time ladder. They're all useful for different things. You know, depending on the size of the checklist you want or how many, um, a lot of times when I need a daily, it's because I want to see my day hour by hour so I know where I need to be and when I can get things done in between. This one's a lot of fun because it has a little doodle that you can trace over to show the current uh, weather. Um, and it's pretty customizable. I, I've done all kinds of different things with this space. Two days per page. And then this one is from Peanuts Planner Co. I grabbed it because I had a discount code. Um, it's like a journaling daily. And I have it in here because I want to use it, but I never have gotten around to it. I, I feel like I never have the time to sit down and journal during my day, so. And then these sticky notes with the marbling are also from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, so this one has a daily, so if I feel like I don't want to pull out a whole page or I want to still have my weekly open, sometimes I'll pull one of these out. Um, and I, I really love these ones. I've repurchased this particular sticky note several times. <laughs> this is a picture of me as a kid with some of my favorite toys that I told my daughter about. She drew a picture of me. It was very sweet. <laughs> then we get into weeklies. So this was a, a checklist that I needed to do. I was, oh, I was needed to go to Walmart bef the night before the birthday party. And so I put it on a checklist or on a sticky note in case I needed to send somebody else instead, but I went myself. So I, I got back into some decoration, um, as you can see, and I decided to have fun with this rolling weekly, which is insert 67. Um, and basically it's, like was it eight or nine days long here um but then you can either go until you run out of days here or until you run out of space here with the dailies and you could use all three columns for dailies but i've been using this right column for just like a, a to-do list um, instead of just rapid logging by itself um, so a little bit of color there, quite a lot of color the week after for the 4th of July. <clears throat> so you still have my to-do list there. Um, on this week, it was the week after the party, I think. And so I, oh, and the week before Comic-Con. So I really wanted to get the house looking tidy. There was a chance that our cousin was going to be staying with us during Comic-Con. And uh, he didn't end up. He got his hotel room. <clears throat> but I definitely wanted things tidy before he came into town. And it kind of sort of happened. Um, what did happen was that we got, all of us in succession got a stomach bug. And so I was actually really wiped out from, I think this, this, no, I don't remember. I think it was this Monday through for a few days. Um, and then this was the week of Comic-Con. Uh, and so my to-do lists were like things that I needed to grab in the morning. So like on the night, on the way back, I can say, by the way, since we've moved to San Diego County um, and we don't have to be traveling and then staying somewhere else, so much easier to just come home to your own bed at the end of the night and just grab whatever you need instead of having to have thought of it all and packed it all. And then just like, well, it's like last year I didn't bring a jacket because I was like, it's hot. But 
at night down by the shore, it, it, by the bay there, it gets pretty chilly. At least I was cold. And so this year I remembered to bring jackets. And so we wore the jackets home and I had to remember to bring them in the morning. So on the way home in the car, I was like making a to-do list of things I needed to bring in the morning. And that's basically what my, my uh, dailies were. It wasn't a lot of like actual things that were happening. I tried to kind of log some of those things on Wednesday, but I was like, you know what? No, it's just, I'm not gonna have this out for that. So I didn't, I did bring it with me, but I didn't really open it very much, except to kind of plan next week. As you do, you always got stuff on the brain. Um, this washi tape is from Le Petit Elephant. Um, I've bought stuff from her before. I got a few cute washies from her also at Comic-Con. Um, the little rice cooker washi, super cute. And so I found some of my highlighters that matched it. And that was, I was getting a lot done this week. Um, cause I was healthy and we weren't traveling. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then this was, yeah, I, instead of having the next week section, I was like, all right, I'm just going to make a checklist of areas that I still wanted to try to reset. Cause after, you know, you come home late from, being out all day and then you leave early-ish in the morning and there's just nothing is ever always put away. So I really did have to tidy up a lot, but it got done. Um, and then this is where we are right now. This is my current week tab. And I have decided to move on to this week on one page um, because this is going to be just householdy type tasks. And then I have a separate school planner which I will go grab and show you what I'm working in concurrently. So this is a half letter size binder. I'm told that it was from Michael's. I got it off of the Buy Nothing group. Um, my two year old got a hold of it and has no impulse control. And I was gonna get really mad, but instead I decided that it was um, invaluable artwork for posterity. And so there's a cute little design on the front of a person. I don't know, you can see it has eyes and a mouth and little feet and she's very cute. She's almost three. So this is my homeschool planner and I haven't really shown it yet. Um, this is like a to-do list. I think I did all that stuff just about, haven't registered for copy, I guess it has not opened. Um, so I'm gonna be simultaneously in here for like what we're actually doing for the week school-wise and here what we need to get done around the house. And we'll see how that goes. Um, we were gonna, like I said, start school in another week, but then my kids were like, I wanna start now. I'm like, okay, we'll start on Monday. So first I have that same, you'll see a lot of the same inserts. This is insert 52, um, which is the 52 weeks. I wanted to have it all in one place so I can kind of plan out our school year. And so I actually, this isn't available in the shop, but I have it printed out as a, um, an academic year and it has made me realize that maybe I should offer my dated inserts in a July through July format as well. Um, I haven't sat down and made that happen because it does take a lot of work to update the yearlies but maybe when I update for 2024 I will try to do that too. Um, but in any case we're doing a program called five in a row and um, so we're doing like a basically a unit study on picture books so we're going to start with Madeline it was from this week, we're gonna move it up there, but that's why I used erasable pen. Um, and then these sessions are for our co-op that we haven't signed up yet for, because anyway. And then this is, yeah, baby season starts like end of November through, and then in January, maybe I'll feel up to getting stuff uh, back together. Or else maybe I'll try to prep some five in a row stuff in advance that my husband can help with, anyway. This here is like a prototype of an insert that I am trying out to sort of keep track of what subjects we do and how much time we spend. I'm trying to do some record keeping even though we're not official this year because I only have a kindergartner and in California um, kindergarten is not legally required so I'm not registered with the state or anything we're just winging it. Um, so there's probably like <laughs> A better way to keep track of this that other people use but I just thought this is what made sense for me so these are all the different subjects along the top and so we'll start tomorrow with day one I'll put the date and I'll show this again maybe next time I did the flip through but um, I'll mark off like which subject we did and what we did in it and how long it took and then I'll do a horizontal line between days and then uh, I can just kind of I just want to know how long it's taking us and 
you know, if we meet the legal requirements and legal minimums for how many hours per day and days per year, you know. This one was supposed to be, <laughs> this is the Alistair future log and I was going to put um, like holidays and dates of interest that I should prepare for so that we can have activities planned around, you know, International Apple Day or whatever. Um, but I never got around to that. Um, so I, I might still, but I keep forgetting it's there. This is the same calendar. This is the same idea as, but for feast days. Um, so I have that in here as well. Insert, and I can tell you, yep, it also has the same typo. So again, I will be fixing that. So this front section has planning. This is sort of a, a place to look at our week. This is the, uh, insert 36 is the, I forget what I called it, time blocking weekly. And then this one here is just the two column page, which is insert nine. <laughs> so I can show like what we're doing together and what we're doing separately to kind of block out the date. This helped me conceptualize things early on. Uh, this was supposed to be a sort of ideal day insert. And I don't remember which number this is, but this is the family daily, which I do really like. Um, especially I think if you have like kids in high school or like driving age and you have to keep track of where everybody is there's columns for um, for every person in the house. So I have like naps happening at different times so I can like time it out. That was the idea. And then this was the things I wanted to do in the morning for circle time. We're, we're, we're implementing, it's, it's happening. So then I just have 500 real, like I was telling you about math reading. And then I, this says checklist, but I need to erase it and replace it because this is where I'm actually putting my weekly planning and then this, this is where the checklists go with the extra pages. So anyway, this was the suggested schedule for the different books. This is where I'm prepping them and all the different activities we're doing. So I want to go through and pick which activities we're doing ahead of time. So I just have a bunch of these. And this is from um, the actual book, like the five in a row textbook that has this. Um, so I just print everything half size or like two pages per page. Um, this one I have prepped because I they had it at the library but we're going to do it in the spring when there are ducklings at the lake. Nothing in here for math. And the only thing in reading is something I found that was like a, a infographic for pre-reading skills for my toddler. Um, but anyway, this is, this is why I pulled this out. So you can see, look, I used another washi tape that I got from Be Cute Happy Paper, which I was showing you that postcard before. Um, I got this washi from her at Comic-Con and I'm like, let's lean into the fall motif because it's the first day of school, even though it's still July. <laughs> um, so we're, for this week, we're doing Madeline and for my preschooler, she'll be learning about the letter B because that's the first letter in her name. So she requested it. Um, and I'm just kind of trying to put things like I have these sections here. I'm going to log what we actually do for each thing, like which lessons. Um, this to-do list is actually to do in prep for. Um, so I've been working off this in advance and then I'll also have to look at this one, which it also says first week. It's not because as previously mentioned, I plan to have this one be the first week of school and then we bumped it up. Um, anyway, I put like so different topics or different subjects and activities here. And so I can kind of plan it in advance and also just keep track of like how often we do PE, how often we're doing some sort of religion lesson. Um, there's a pot, I'm putting the saint of the day at the top when there is an episode in the Saint Stories for Kids podcast that we can listen to. Otherwise, we'll just sort of read a little bit about the saint on like a website or something really casually. Uh, I think a lot of a lot of my homeschool style is going to be like, let's all head to my computer and Google it together. Um, but mostly just tomorrow is going to be pretty low key. We're just going to do like an about me page and like first day of school pictures. And then we're going to do the math and reading if we can get to it. And this is planning for the next week. And then I just have a bunch of these printed. So this is insert 66. Uh, we got two pages. Uh, I, I like that it's got these sections here so I can keep track of what we did. I think, yeah, I, like I showed you how it's going to be working. I, I think it'll work okay. And then I just have some other like checklists and things in here. So that is the homeschooling planner uh, as of the night before school starts. Then back to the main event. Um, welcome back if that wasn't interesting to you at all. Uh, because we have all of that going on on those two pages, I just have a one page 
uh, weekly in here, which is insert 69. I still have to fill out events here, but I have already filled out some tasks here and I will probably use these sections for dinners and laundry. And then I probably don't need to keep track of what laundry load I'm doing, honestly. Like I just sort of look at what's in the hamper and go like, yeah, hey, yeah, that's what I should do. Force a habit. All right, tab three, very important, meal planning. I love my meal planning insert. I'm, I'm not impartial, obviously. This isn't at 27 from my shop. <coughs> but this is how I keep track of what we have ingredients for. Um, and yeah, and how shelf stable it is. So if one of these things has fewer than three dots, I gotta prioritize it. Um, but I already did that and everything else. I just got ingredients for the shelf stable stuff. Sometimes I'll plan out what we're doing and when, other times I just sort of look and go, okay, uh, what can I do without defrosting something? Or, okay, what can I eat tomorrow and I'll defrost it today. Um, so we already did, we did carbonara yesterday because my husband makes that and it was the weekend. And so tomorrow we'll either do, I don't know, we have, the first checkbox means we have the ingredients. And the ingredients for lasagna are lasagna. So that's all of these. Um, I keep the old ones so I can keep track of what we've had recently and get me ideas for what we can have when I'm planning my, my menu. Um, so I, I think I've told you guys before, I got myself a side gig writing like one short article uh, per month in the diocesan paper where we used to live because I have a connection up there. So this is just keeping track of what the topics are, the due dates and the publisher dates. So um, the newspaper is dark right now for a few weeks and then I have one coming up. So I have to <laughs> fill that out tomorrow when I email her about it. Um, these are some ideas for inserts. And then this is some ideas for things that I can give the kids to, um, to do as their task because uh, I gave them a summer checklist or it was supposed to be for the summer, but it's continuing. Um, like a morning checklist and one of the things on there is task for mom and so I assign them something to do and we have now done I decluttered their closets um, we still have to do their um, their books stuffies toys <laughs> but um, I'm feeling a lot better about things now that their drawers are closing properly I pulled out all of the winter stuff um, and I'm hoping that by the time cold weather comes around again, we'll be in a new house and I think I'm going to get another dresser so that we have enough space for all the kids, all four of them by the time uh, the weather gets cold, I think. Um, so that will, that will take care of some of that. Um, but anyway, things are just a lot better when there's only clothes that actually fit them that they actually like and wear and are weather appropriate in their drawer. So much easier, who would have thought? Anyway, these are some like cleaning tasks that they can do around the house. And so if they come to me and say, what's my task? Cause I want to play on a computer, but I need to do my task first. They'll be like, oh yeah, um, can you scrub the toilet? Cause I love scrubbing the toilet for some reason. I was going to take some notes on some stuff from Busy Toddler, which is this really great Instagram account, but then I never got around to it. All I ever did was write her name at the top of a page. I cannot be the only person who does that kind of thing, right? These sticky notes are from the Dollar Tree and they don't. So maybe they'll stick to the paper instead. I like the size, but you know, you get what you pay for. Um, these ones are post-its and they stick fine. More from Peanuts Planner Co. This one's just a checklist. I have a couple more of those page flags and then there's more of those in the back too. These are also post-it brand, but I did get these from the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. I don't know, but they're actual post-its. Um, and I have never been able to find these again. These are like the smaller ones. These fit in a pocket planner. Um, whereas like the standard ones don't cause they're too wide um, to fit with the rings. Uh, this Peanuts Planner Co one is a grid. So very versatile. And then I have a lot of these little um, mini notes, which is in 70 from my shop. And they fit in any size planner um, and just it's helpful to have like a little one and it can fit nice like on top or in between of a weekly spread or something. And then all I have is some extra pages 
basically things print out two pages and you only need one or I'll print out extra grid paper. Um, so the two columns, more of that goal planning, peanuts planner co insert. Um, this is more like monthly tasks, but I don't really don't think I'm going to use that. Well, it's undated, so I could use it next year. Another one of these for when I filled up the other one, but then I switched to a different system. So there we go. And then this is the card pocket thingy. I used to use my planner as my wallet, but I don't anymore. I now have a wallet that worked as a phone case. And so that just takes care of that. So I have like one or two spare checks. If you ever need a check when you're out and about, I've got my husband's business card because he gave it to me. This um, is those uh, page flags. And I think I got these from Daiso forever ago. And then these little magnetic bookmarks are not that magnetic. So I haven't used them again recently. I wish I had something that would hold pages I'm not using together better. Anyway, the little pocket in the back has a picture my daughter drew me. I had to keep it flat. A hair tie because you never know when you're going to need one of these, especially when swim lessons are happening and you were rushing out the door. Um, she drew me a picture of my Melody. This says mom. I don't know if you can see that when we were in a Comic-Con panel. And then it is very important for me to always have a nail file on hand because having like a ragged nail or a hangnail or something drives me insane and I'll pick at it and I'll make it worse until I have no nail left. And so I need to be able to fix those little things. So I have nail files just everywhere in the car, in my planner, just in my purse stashed everywhere. So, and we did it. We finished the whole thing. How long was that video? I think it wasn't as long as I, um, as it feels like, cause I really need more water. And uh, I had to turn off the fan to get this filmed properly. And it is, as before mentioned, the end of July. Um, I, we might get rain tomorrow, which is insane. We don't usually, um, but I hope that that will deal with the humidity, which we also don't get a lot of. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for sticking around. Do stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm going to be posting these videos once a month or so just to keep you updated on my planner and my life. Um, and I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.